Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, uh, which is the second lecture of Computer Networks course, we will be studying about the types of transmission technology. So when I say transmission, transmission basically refers to what kind of communication is happening. So in the previous video, we understood that uh, a network is a collection of communicating or digital devices that are interconnected so that they can exchange information via some form of transmission media. That transmission can either be wired or wireless. Now, the type of transmission technology is also uh, can also be categorized on the basis of how many receivers are receiving the message that is sent by the sender. So in any kind of communication, you will always have a sender that will send a message to the receiver and you will always have a message that is being sent via some communication or transmission media. Okay, so we will study about different kinds of transmission media in detail later transmission media are also known as transmission links but today what we are studying is that when a sender is sending some message to uh, how many receivers that message is being sent and by how many receivers that message is being received that also defines a classification and that is known as the classification of computer networks or computer transmission links on the basis of transmission technology. Now the first classification is broadcasting or broadcast links. Now broadcasting means sending a single message to everyone. So there will always be one sender but in case of broadcasting all other devices that are present on the network will receive the message that is sent by the sender. So, uh, in broadcasting, there is a single communication channel. This is an important point that a single communication channel exists and that communication channel is shared by all the devices. Okay, so you can imagine broadcasting something like this. So, there is a single communication channel. Here, I am considering a wired communication channel which is connecting multiple devices, say A, B, C and D. Now, if a message is sent by device A on this network via this communication media, then since this communication media or channel is shared, so the message sent by A will be received by B, by C and as well as by D. So a single communication channel exists which is shared by all the devices that are present on the network and in case of broadcasting the message that is sent by one device is received by all the devices that are present in the network. Okay, So whenever a sender sends a message to a receiver generally the message has a part which tells to which machine or to which device this particular message is intended and that uh, address is present in the address field of the message okay so the address of the receiver or the destination is specified in the destination address field but in case of broadcasting since the message has to be sent to all the devices that are present on the uh, network so there will not be any one particular receiving address rather a special code will be put in the destination address field and every time uh, a machine on the network or a device on the network receives that particular message it will see that in the address field in the destination address field the special code which indicates that this is a broadcast message will uh, will is present and therefore the machine every machine except the sender which is present on the network will accept this broadcast message okay generally what happens is whenever a message is sent from the sender to the receiver some intermediary nodes might be present in between which may receive the message that was sent by the sender 
but when these intermediary nodes check what is the destination address of this message and they find that the destination address is of somebody else it is not intended for themselves so what these intermediary devices do they just forward the message to uh, to other devices to the other path to the path which will lead to the receiver and they ignore this message but when the devices will find this special broadcast code in the destination address field they will not only accept the packet they will know that since it is a broadcast message it is intended for them also and for everybody else also so they will accept this message and forward to everyone else also okay now a subcategory of broadcasting is multicasting where the sender sends a message to some of the devices that are present in the network so a subset of the devices connected to the network receive the message so if uh, if the network consists of four devices then uh, the sender sends the message to two devices rather than all the remaining three devices then it is known as multicasting okay multiple devices are receiving but not all of them are receiving all right the third is and the opposite of uh, broadcasting is point to point transmission so you can imagine point to point transmission as be direct individual links being present between multiple devices that are present in a network so here in case of point to point transmission there is not a single shared channel rather multiple uh, multiple links exist in the network and one link is uh, present between each pair of devices so point to point links uh, connect pair of machines so every two machines that means every pair of machines will be connected by one link one communication channel and that is known as a point to point link and multiple such point to point or p to p links exist between different pairs of machine so if there are four machines in this network they will be connected via direct links known as p to p links okay now whenever a message from a sender has to reach the destination it will cross multiple intermediary nodes so if a has sent a message for c then the message might go from a to b it will first cross this p to p link and then since b sees that this message is not intended for himself it is uh, to be forwarded so it sends this message to the next node which is c and c receives this message so b acts as an intermediary node here now the same message could have gone through d also so it is important to know that when multi point to point links exist multiple routes are possible for sending a message and therefore it is important to determine which is the best route and this is also known as routing or routing which we'll study in detail in upcoming lectures so it is important to decide which route or which route whatever you pronounce it important to decide the route that will be taken by the message the shortest route or the fastest route uh, so it's important to decide the route to be taken by the message so i am referring to uh, the information the data that is being sent as message generally in terms of computer or in computing language we refer to it as a packet which is a short message that gets transferred from one machine to another we'll also understand the difference between packets frames and segments messages in future lectures as of now for general purposes you can understand that whenever a communication is happening between two devices and the communication is between uh, is using point to point links then it is important to decide which route to take because multiple routes can be formed between the uh, pair of sender and receiver 
Now, another important point in case of point-to-point -point transmission and broadcasting is that smaller networks generally make use of broadcasting whereas larger networks generally make use of point-to-point -point transmission. Okay, so these are two ways in which communication can take place and uh, smaller networks can also use point-to-point -point, but it is easier to broadcast a message over a smaller network and uh, it is better to have point-to-point -point communication for larger networks. So it is not a rule but this is a general convention. Now one thing that you must remember is that point-to-point -point communication has um, a particular Okay, so unicasting is a type of point-to-point -point communication that happens between one sender and one receiver. Okay, so unicasting is a type of point-to-point -point communication that takes place between one sender and one receiver. Okay, so this was all for today's lecture. We studied about different types of transmission technologies. The two main categories are broadcasting and point-to-point -point communication or transmission. And broadcasting, when done for a subset of devices and not all the devices, is referred to as multicasting. Whereas when point-to-point -point communication takes place between one sender and one receiver, it is referred to as multicasting. In the next video, we'll understand how can we classify different networks on the basis of their physical size or scale. So stay tuned to our lecture series. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.